The ThinkBook range of Lenovo business laptops has always been value propositions compared to their more expensive siblings, the ThinkPads, offering 14-inch and 16-inch Intel and AMD variants. Today we have the 14-inch Intel i5-1335U model for review. Is this the best budget compact business laptop to buy? Let's find out. For subscribers who have watched my Lenovo IdealPad Slim 5i review, the design chassis will be familiar. The display lid has the typical ThinkBook two-tone grey finish and the keyboard deck is in an arctic grey colour. Starting at 1.38 kilograms or 3.04 pounds, it feels solid and weighty when holding it with one hand. It's not the lightest laptop, so you won't want to hold it too long with one hand. The top and bottom are made of aluminium, military standard, 810H tested. The keyboard deck has hardly any flexing and the display lid is fairly well protected too. There's no creaking noise coming from the chassis giving a good impression. To open the bottom cover, loosen five screws, remove four additional screws and pry open. Inside there's two sodium memory slots for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5-5200 dual channel memory. There's also two M.2-2280 PCIe 4x4 slots, up to 2 terabytes each. You can also install the shorter 2242 SSD up to 1 terabyte. The 60 watt hour battery is removable along with the wireless card. This review model has a 14 inch WXGA 1920x1200 IPS anti-glare non-touch 60Hz display panel. Colour accuracy is rated at 45% NTSC, fine for office or general work but not if you're working professionally with images or video editing. Brightness levels are 300 nits, perfect for indoor use, but not so much near a sunny window or outdoors. There is some screen bleeding on top of the panel, but nothing to worry about during day-to-day -day usage. The 1610 display bezels are average around the screen. At the top is a slight bulge to house the webcam and sensors, useful as it gives your fingers something to grip on when opening the lid. You could just about use one hand to open the lid. The single hinge can open the display panel, 180 degrees flat if needed. The hinge feels sturdy and no creaking noise when opening and closing it. Tip, there is a larger 16 inch sibling, the ThinkBook 16 Gen 6 if you need a bigger display and separate numeric keypad. If you need a wider color gamut for image editing work, go for the 2.2K 100% sRGB display panel option if available. On the left, we have a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabits per second supporting data transfer, power delivery 3, and DisplayPort 1.4. USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1, 5 gigabits per second always on. HDMI 2.1, up to 4K 60 hertz. One Thunderbolt 4, 40 gigabits per second supporting data transfer, power delivery 3, and DisplayPort 1.4. And a headphone microphone 3.5 millimeter combo jack. On the right, we have a Kensington Nano security slot a gigabit Ethernet RJ45 port, USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1, 5 gigabits per second port, and a 4-in-1 SD card reader. The Wi-Fi card inside is a Realtek RTL8852BE Wi-Fi 6 802.11AX with Bluetooth 5.1. No issues during Wi-Fi testing between two rooms or two floors. The ThinkBook was reliable with an external Bluetooth mouse or speaker. The spill-resistant two-level backlit keyboard has generously spaced out island-style large keys. They have a concave cap design that hugs your fingertips as you type, making it a joy to touch type for long hours. Easily getting 55 words per minute on the soft, tactile, 50% post-consumer recycled plastic keys. Another bonus is the large cursor keys and individual page up and down keys. The F9 smart key can be customised to open any frequently used app or website using the Lenovo Hotkeys app. The Mylar coated touchpad supports Microsoft Precision drivers. Its generously sized dimensions at 75 by 120 mm gives a smooth and accurate glide action with your fingers. The integrated buttons on the touchpad are a tad noisy, but you don't notice it after using it for a while. The 2 watt stereo speakers tuned with Dolby Audio are located underneath the keyboard deck. Vocal sound quality is clear for Teams or Zoom meetings. Volume is not particularly loud, okay if you're in a quiet room, but you might want to connect some Bluetooth earbuds if you're in a busy coffee shop or airport lounge. The same can be said for the audio quality. Music-wise, it's below average at best, with no warmth or mid-tones. Here are some audio samples. The 
1080p webcam is surrounded by dual microphones and an IR sensor. Video quality is above average in good lighting conditions. Quality drops when in low light rooms. Good enough for a few virtual meetings per week with your colleagues or family. This review model has a 13th gen Intel Core i5-1335U processor with 10 cores in total, 8 E cores up to 3.4 GHz and 2 P cores up to 4.6 GHz. The CPU has a TDP rating of 15 watts, along with 16 GB of DDR5 5200MHz memory and a stick of 512GB 2242 PCIe 4x4 NVMe storage. The ThinkBook will happily run multiple Office or browser tabs or apps with no issues. Note in battery imbalance mode, the efficient calls kick in with a base clock of 0.9 GHz, leading to occasional pauses between opening multiple tabs and apps. On mains power, it feels a lot more snappy to use. For our performance test, we set best performance mode in Windows and plugged the laptop into the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the ThinkBook 14 Gen 6. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 1427, CPU score of 5953 and a graphic score of 1259. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme had an overall score of 647, graphic score of 570 and a CPU score of 2797. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 5317. Cinebench R24 testing produced a score in multi-core 510 and 102 in single-core. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score in multi-core of 8038 and 1741 in single-core. Geekbench 6 gave a CPU score of 2330 in single-core and 8247 in multi-core and 11597 in the CPU compute benchmark. Superposition resulted in a score of 2,374. The Intel i5-1335U is a mid-range mobile CPU that sits below the AMD Ryzen 5 6600U and above the AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 6650U in general benchmarking scores. Using the quick CPU tool, battery power, balance mode with web browsing, the i5-1335U CPU clock stays between 1 to 1.5 gigahertz and CPU power on average of 3 to 5 watts. With the same settings for video playback, on average the CPU clock was 2 gigahertz and 5 watts CPU power. Set to high performance plugged in running spec view perth benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 3 to 4 gigahertz. CPU temperature is between 80 Celsius to 90 Celsius and CPU power is 30 to 40 watts. Tip. If you want to sacrifice battery life for more performance, go for the i7-13700H processor for a £160 upgrade. The cooling fan is virtually silent most of the time when you are working on the laptop, measuring 30 to 33 decibels. When it's taxed, the fan does kick in after 30 seconds, but it's not noticeably loud at 43 decibels, more of a humming in the background. In terms of heat during general usage plugged in the mains, the chassis temperature gets up to 33.5 Celsius or 92.3 Fahrenheit near the number 3 and 4 keys. Under performance mode mains, CAD type workload, the chassis hits 37 Celsius or 98.6 Fahrenheit. The bottom vent was warm to the touch but not hot. The ThinkBook 14 has integrated Intel UHD graphics based on the XE architecture and offers 80 of the 96 EUs operating at up to 1.25 GHz. The UHD has up to 8 GB of shared GPU virtual memory. The UHD positions itself around the AMD Vega 7 and Vega 8 chips in benchmarking scores. In gaming, the Intel UHD will only play old titles or newer games in low settings. Cyberpunk 2077 struggles in low settings around 10 frames per second. Similar story of Red Dead Redemption 2 playing in low settings around 23 frames per second. Less taxing games like Apex Legends or Fortnite will play medium settings, 28 frames per second for Apex Legends. Older titles like Grand Theft Auto 5 will happily play in medium settings around 102 frames per second on average. The ThinkBook is only good for casual gaming playing older titles. Here are some gaming samples.
Inside is an integrated 60 watt hour battery with 50% brightness, balance mode, video playback, battery life is around nine hours. With 50% brightness, balance mode, light use of office or college work, expect around seven hours battery life. Tip, upgrade to the larger 60 watt hour battery from the default 45 watt hour option at time of purchase for maximum battery life. The ThinkBook supports rapid charge, 50% in one hour using the 65 watts USB-C AC adapter. There's a wealth of security features in the ThinkBook 14. The usual fingerprint reader integrated into the power button is rapid and instant. Same can be said of the optional IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition. It's also used to constantly scan for human detection to log in again from sleep. The webcam has a privacy shutter and a Kensington Nano security lock to stop someone walking off with the laptop. Inside the ThinkBook is a firmware TPM 2.0 security chip. The ThinkBook 14 Gen 6 is targeted at business users, college students, data collection, working from home, and basic coding work at a budget-friendly price. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Affordable. Managed to grab this review model in one of Lenovo's many weekly offers for £450 or $565 with no operating system. A bargain when you consider the features it offers. Good upgrades. The SSD, WLAN and RAM modules can be all swapped out and upgraded. Rare these days that more laptops have soldered on memory. Good inputs. The keyboard and touchpad are both comfortable to use for long hours. The keys have 1.5mm key travel, backlit for those late nights. The click pad has a smooth feel for effortless finger gliding gestures. The bonus is the generous pad dimensions. Plenty of ports. For the cheap price tag, the ThinkBook has a wealth of ports. Two USB Type-A ports, two USB-C ports, including a Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, SD card reader, headphone jack, and a rare but still handy RJ45 Ethernet port. Average display. For most users, the 16x10 display panel will be fine, but the low brightness level of 300 nits and the poor color space coverage of 45% NTSC makes the ThinkBook unsuitable for image editing work. Flimsy Ethernet. While having an Ethernet port is a bonus, don't you hate the flap designs that feel clumsy to use? Plus, once you plug in the network cable, it's a difficult job to pull out again. If you were in the market for a budget-friendly 14-inch business laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Vostro 14. HP ProBook 440 G10. Asus ZenBook 14. MSI Prestige 14 Evo. Asus SwiftGo 14. The Lenovo ThinkBook 14 Gen 6 is a reliable and dependable compact laptop. The display and performance is good enough for general office or working from home tasks. Just don't use it for creator editing jobs or AAA gaming. Two rare SODIMM slots to upgrade the memory up to 64GB DDR5, plus the dual M.2 SSD slots are upgradable for expandable storage. Can't complain about the number of ports including a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C port at this wallet-friendly price tag, a useful SD card reader and an RJ45 port. The keyboard and touchpad are a joy to use for long periods. Battery runtime is almost good for a day's workload. Don't forget to upgrade to the 60 watt hour battery option. The Lenovo ThinkBook 14 Gen 6 sits quietly under the radar from its famous cousin, the ThinkPad range. There's no wow highlights, but it doesn't have many faults. Its features are well balanced and the icing on the cake is the affordable price tag. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkBook 14 Gen 6 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.